hey guys welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to be doing this blue eyeshadow look and as you've seen i'm going to start off at, with my transition shade with the jaclyn hill um, morphe palette and i'm gonna do that um rng brown color and i'm going to put that in my crease Next, I am going to go in with that dark purple and I am going to put that um, a little bit under my crease and I am, guys, this eye look is probably the most tedious one that I've ever created. Um, it took a long time for me to um, intensify the color so just be patient and i just keep building and building and building and building and building and you're gonna see that i'm gonna keep going and i know it gets very repetitive but you just have to keep building the color as you go along Now that I am satisfied with that eye, I'm going to go in with my other eye and I'm going to repeat the same step. Now I'm going to go in um, and with this blue shade and I'm just going to pack that on the rest of my eyelid. And I'm going to just keep building and building and building and I'm going to keep putting the blue on until it builds um, up to the intensity that I want. Now I'm going back with the brush that I used before for the purple shade and I'm just going to blend that out so it looks seamless. Now I'm going to go in with the other eye and repeat the same step and just pack on that blue. Oh and um, I don't know if I mentioned before that's from the Morphe 35B palette, that blue shade. And I went back in with the blue because I felt like um, it kind of like wiped away a little bit. So now that I did that, I'm going and wiping out the excess and I just want to um, make my eyeshadow a little look cleaner. Now I'm 
now I'm gonna go in with that light purple I wasn't really happy with the way that it looked so I felt like the light purple color um, just made everything come to come alive come together <laughs> now that my eye look is all done um, I'm gonna go in with the 24-hour Maybelline foundation guys I love it like it lasts all day if you haven't tried it I totally recommend it it is my holy grail now I'm gonna set my foundation with the wet and wild pressed powder and I'm going to just um, blend it out with a powder brush and you guys want to just tap it do not move your brush around because what you're gonna do is move the foundation all over now I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer and I am going to conceal my under eyes and highlight my nose. And my cupid's bow. Now I'm going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender. Now I'm going to set the concealer with the Airspun Translucent Face Powder and I'm just going to let that bake a little bit and I'm going to move on with my bronzer. And I'm going to use the Contouring Palette by Wet n Wild. And what I like to do is that helps me is kind of like make a a fish fishy face and I just go in with the brush now I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and I'm going to um, put the bronzer on the sides of my nose to contour it and what that will do is it will give the illusion of uh, like a straight nose, like a skinny nose. Now I'm going to go in with those two purples and I'm going to go under my lash, under my lash line with the dark one. And then I'm going in with a skinnier brush, like a flat skinnier brush with a lighter color. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out and um, with the, the crease, the cut that I made, like the... I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> the ends of it, as you can see. I'm just like kind of bringing that out. The color all the way to the end, just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and set that because we put, I put all that powder on. I feel like it'll give you a flawless, flawless look when I spray in between. Now I'm going to go in with the Master Chrome Maybelline. I love this highlight. It gives you such a sun-kissed glow. I love it. And I'm going to put that on the high points of my cheek. And I'm going to take some of that and put it in the um, corner of my eye. And I'm going to go back and spray again. This will this step will make your um, makeup not will look it won't look cakey that way, so it really works for me. You guys should try it if you haven't. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the L'Oreal Voluminous Voluminous. <laughs> Sorry guys, I can't talk. Um, primer, and this gives length and volume to my eyelashes before I go ahead and apply um, my mascara. Now I'm going to use the Icon Last by Butter London and I'm just going to go ahead and coat my eyelashes. 
and my bottom lashes. Okay, and that is the finished look guys i'm so sorry i did not um do a video after i did my hair my mind was all over the place i don't know what in the world i was thinking but i love this blue look so much um i hope you guys like it thank you for watching love you